In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four sphere option infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I have made this oval shape with four different colors and the shadow effect. And when I click, the first sphere comes uh, with the option number one and you can add some detailed text. And when I click, the second one uh, comes uh, somewhat bigger size than the second option, the third option and the fourth option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, maybe this much size, if you want you can increase it later. Then shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. Now I'm going to uh, keep only the one part of the portion and the rest of the three sides, I'm just going to delete it. So to do that, I have to go to insert shapes, I have to select one rectangle, draw one rectangle so that one side only got selected then hold the shift key select the oval shape then go to merge shape you can see here you can just need to click the intersect click that one and make sure that no outline is selected press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it you can see here flip horizontal i'm just going to attach this one now i'm going to select both this shape and hold the control shift key and drag it at the bottom all right now i'm just selecting this one and i'm just rotating can you see here flip vertical and then for this also i'm going to select flip vertical so i end up getting again the oval shape but with four different you can see here shapes together all right now depending on your requirement you can change the color you want for example i would like to use uh, some uh, say one uh, green color here one uh, maybe one blue color and here I would like to use uh, some uh, kind of uh, purple color and maybe here I can use some other color you can go to more fill color and you can just choose any color of your choice maybe uh, orange color all right sorry the yellow color now once this is done I have to select all the shape or you can press ctrl a also to select all the shape and press ctrl g to group it now once you group this one it's time to do the 3d uh anime not animation the 3d object so uh, in order to make sure that uh, something not goes wrong so for the safer side i'm just going to duplicate this one okay then let me just come here right mouse click go to format shape and under the effects you can go to the 3d rotation from the presets I can choose any of this you can see here the perspective relax moderately and when I click this one I've got different rotations X Y Z and perspective so you can see here whichever rotation which you need you can just play with this one you can see here I'm just making it Y rotation like this and then I can just move like this a little bit you can see here whichever way you want and here also I can just move it a little bit you can see here whatever design you want or the way the rotation you need you can just make it and then go to the 3d format and increase the depth you can see here you can just increase the depth something like this all right sorry this one and if the color is not uh, you know matching you can just go and change any color of your choice again you can see here maybe i can use uh, some dark gray color okay so it looks something like this now again go here and then you can see here the material and the lighting now depending on your requirement you can choose whichever you can see here it's more no lighting here there's some lighting effect here and i can select this one again there's no lighting so whatever best one you can just choose it so it is very light i don't need that one maybe i'm going with this one and then maybe i can just choose the other one like this it's up to you whichever way you feel comfortable you can just choose that one all right and then again if you feel still that uh, this is not aligned or this is not properly rotated so you can just make it according to your own taste you can see here 
all right so i can just make it whatever way i want so i, I need something like this a uh, little bit here like this okay and then if you want to increase the size hold the control shift key and increase the size so it looks something like this can you see here and then i'm just going to add one background here go to insert shapes select the rectangle select the rectangle covering half of the slide shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make it black or you can give some gradient fill also so gradient fill i'm just going to make it one with a black color at the bottom and the other one with white only okay and the white one i'm going to make it fully transparent and the black one i'm going to make it somewhat less transparent okay and then send this to back all right now again if you want you can move it up or down or rotate it whichever way you want you can just play with this okay so all right so it looks like this uh, for me uh, this one is not properly aligned so i have to just go here again i can just uh, put it in a more flat manner i think this is okay all right now once this is done if you want you can add some shadow effect you can select this one go to the shadows and you can just choose any shadow effect and you can increase the distance you can see here you can increase the distance like this and you can increase the blur also blur effect okay all right so once this is done it's time to add some the spheres or the the balls here at the top so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it white if you want and then make it a little bit a transparent you can see here then i'm just going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and then to give more effect i can just cut this shape with the help of one more oval shape you can see here then i can select this one and this one merge shape i can intersect this one and i'm going to put it here exactly in the here like this you can see here and then again if you want you can add a few more again one more oval shape here at the top shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it fully white go to the effects and then you can go to the soft edges increase the soft edges here so it looks somewhat glossy you can see here like this and then you can add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape at the bottom like this okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency you can see here and send this to back all right so you can see here this is how you can uh, make this sphere shape and if you want we can add one more here also okay it's up to you so i'm just going to select all these shapes uh, the spheres one press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and again if you want to give some different color you can just give any color of your choice you can see here i'm going to make it somewhat light yellow again light yellow maybe i can just put it here so that it is more visible okay so whichever way again you can hold down the shift key if you want reduce the size ctrl d to duplicate and now this color i'm going to make it white only white is not visible make it uh, a gray color you can see here it is visible and then i can just hold the shift key reduce the size all right and press ctrl d and i can just put it one here maybe a little bit bigger size let me just move this here and then this comes here and this one i can make it maybe a kind of a blue all right so you can see here this way you can make the shapes and then uh, with the help of the this one go to insert shapes with the help of this particular freeform shape i can make the arrow like this double click shape outline make it gray and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here all right reduce the size put it here then go to insert shapes again i can select like this 
okay again gray color control d to duplicate bring it here likewise you can just maybe you can select like this control d rotate it you can see here flip horizontal and i'm just going to put it here and this text comes here so like that you can just put it here also and then if you need you can just add some basic animation to it 